Happy New Year, everyone! So, if you've been paying attention to our community tab, we've been putting up polls the last couple months about what you think the color of the year should be. And what's fun is now we've seen all of the other companies and their choices, so we as the paint people, we get to make our own people's choice about the color of the year for 2023. So what's interesting is a lot of you have decided to go for the more subtle colors, not the big, bold, dynamic ones. And I know there are a few outliers that are like, no, 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 we don't want neutrals, we don't want gray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal the order upon which you all picked. And I'm also gonna grab a paint color that sort of represents each color, just so we can have the People's Choice Colors of the Year, if you will. So in fourth place, we have Dusty Clay Red. And this was an interesting one to me because if you've noticed, red has really been the color of the year. It's been the overarching theme moving forward. A lot of those clay colors, terracotta's coming back, it's all a big thing. It also seems like you guys are kind of not too excited about it anymore, maybe. I mean, it made the final four, but with 21% of the vote, it's in fourth place. So the color that I picked is by Sherwin-Williams and it's called Rojo Dust. So what we have here is it's a mid-tone red that is a little bit dusty, a little bit clay-like, which is kind of what we were going for, a bit of a brown mixed in as well. I will admit there is some similarities to Red and Earth by Sherwin-Williams, but I wanted to go with something a little more saturated with Rojo Dust. There's a little more of that red prominent if you put them side by side, and I'm sure some of you will appreciate that added saturation. In third place, which actually got some love in the comment section, was a soft muted purple. And purple is interesting because you can go cooler and go a little more icy and blue leaning, or you can go the other way and go more red leaning. Now, even though red is in, I didn't want that to be representative of the purple that I picked. And my color choice specifically to represent it is by Pharaoh and Ball called Kaluna. So this is sort of a heather gray with a bit of a lilac purple undertone. Very muted, very understated, but present enough to pop against other neutrals, especially grays. If you have like a plain old gray, then you'll really notice the purple in this color. I love Farron Ball's interpretation of purple. It is so silvery and elegant, yet still pretty usable. I think that's important as well. In second place with 26% of the vote, it's green age. The combination of beige and green. And this is a paint color category that I sort of coined, <laughs> like the whole combination. It is essentially a warm neutral beige with a bit of a green undertone. And one of my favorites by Bear Paint that represents this is called Spring Day. And as you can see in this photo here, the green aspect just adds this vibrancy to it, this sort of organic nature that is hard to describe. But what I love about it is it just adds that dynamism that plain old beige doesn't do. It also works really great with plant life, as you can see. If you have surrounding shrubbery, some cacti, <laughs> whatever you decide to do, yucca cane plants, it'll all look really, really great against this neutral. It's a different take on neutral, which is why I do like it. But number one, I'm actually really surprised here. With 29% of the vote, we got a clean off white as the color of the year. No! No! I do appreciate a really clean, neutral, light color on the walls. So if we're thinking about paint colors specifically, this makes sense to me. Because what you can do is you can have your off-white on the walls and then have the accessories pop off and you can rotate colors in and out, maybe seasonally or even annually. So you're not limited to your wall color. It's just an off-white. So what off-white will I pick? I'm just gonna go with the one that I've used extensively in my house very recently. I love how it subtly changes from morning to night. It's very modern, not overly warm, very versatile. Also has a touch of depth too, so you're not talking about a stark white here. It's by Benjamin Moore, and it's called Dove Wing. OC18 is the people's choice color of the year. So I guess if you're looking to paint something, just go with Dove Wing. It has a 77 LRV, so it's light, but not too stark. You'll be able to incorporate a variety, like nearly endless amount of colors on top of it, whether it's your fabrics, your curtains, your flooring, your artwork, your furniture, anything. I have it throughout my entire first floor essentially and the second floor hallway and I have a lot of other colors working in and out and it just suits me so well. It may not be the perfect color for you but according to a majority of you 
this is the vibe you're looking for in 2023. You can check out our dove wing video right over here if you want some other colors to work with it. And thanks for participating.